Hirschsprung's disease is a disorder in which a part of the large intestine or all of the large intestine has lost nerve cells and or had none to begin with. The nerve cells allow signals to reach the muscles within the large intestine to push stool toward the anus. Without these nerves, severe constipation and obstruction can occur within the large intestine. Over time, it does get worse because the blockage becomes so severe. This disease is not fatal if the proper surgery is done. Most of the time with patients of HD, bowel movement occurs less than often or not at all. Without bowel movement, the intestines become completely blocked up. The smaller amount of large intestine affected by lack of nerve cells, the less severe Hirschsprung's disease actually is. Hirschsprung's disease usually affects boys more than girls and occurs mostly in the United States. It usually occurs in infants and people are born with this disease. Most of the time, Hirschsprung's disease is an inherited trait. It's passed along through the genes of the parents. Mothers cannot cause Hirschsprung's disease by doing any activity through pregnancy. Children with Down syndrome or heart conditions are more susceptible to this disease. The symptoms for HD are mostly constipation shortly after being born. The newborns will most often fail to have their first bowel movement, which occurs within 48 hours. More symptoms are green or brown vomit, swelling of the abdomen, lots of gas, slow growth, and or bloody diarrhea. HD is diagnosed by symptoms and test results. They use an x-ray to look at the large intestine. The large intestine is filled with barium, so it's seen easier through the x-ray. If the baby has HD, then the last segment of the large intestine will be narrower than the normal width of the large intestine. The part right before the narrow area will be bulging because of fecal matter that is blocked up. The doctors can also perform manometry, which is inflating a small balloon inside the rectum to see whether or not the muscles relax. A biopsy can be performed also. The doctor will remove a small piece of the large intestine and see whether or not nerve cells are missing. The surgery for HD can go one of two ways. The first is called the pull-through procedure. The surgeon will remove the segment of the large intestine that lacks nerve cells and connect the healthy part of the intestine to the anus. The second and more complicated surgery is called ostomy. The surgeon will first take out the segment of the large intestine lacking nerves. Then the end of the healthy intestine is moved to an opening in the abdomen area where the surgeon creates a stoma. In this, there becomes a pouch outside of the body that collects the stool and needs to be emptied several times a day. This occurs only with severe cases of HD. A few days after the pull-through procedure, children may have diarrhea for an extended time period. They could also have a diaper rash. Potty training can take longer for these children. Medications used for HD are typically antibiotics and are only if they suffer from an infection after the surgery, which would be caused by leftover bacteria in the large intestine. The treatment for HD are as follows and dependent on the patient. Some simply need to drink more fluids to make up for lost parts of the large intestine. Some infants may need to use a feeding tube. More severe cases require a procedure done called serial rectal irrigation, which helps relieve pressure and decompress the bowel. The outlook for HD is generally positive because mostly all cases are treated. There have been few deaths because of HD, and the babies eventually pass normal stool and have no lingering complications.